Gemini. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for June 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, Gemini, let's see what we've got for June pouring with rain here. I'm about to go out to a band gig and it is absolutely bucketing down. But I've got to get these readings done so I'm trying to get some done before I go and um, it's pretty miserable out there. Okay so Gemini. Oh somebody else had this, all these reversals. One card is upright. Once we got to the clarifications of everything, it was all good, but very tough underlying reading. Two cards upright. I've just done Libra, they had two cards reversed. But we'll begin. Gemini, movement forward. Even if it's done in secret, you're not wanting everyone to know about it. Could be moving to another town, another country even, another job. Um, a new relationship but there is some sort of secrecy behind this but there is still action being taken on getting things started the magus reversed in your present energies okay not feeling like things are falling into place as they should be because this justice is crossing you as well i feel like you've had a had an outfit um an unfair outcome out fear uncome I was going to say an unfair outcome towards something could be a legal battle that did not work out in your favor it doesn't have to be but I feel like you just feel things aren't where they should be possibly why the six of swords is here overall strength area the moon reversed not being able to see things clearly when things are darker and grayer here it's almost like stuck in this level stuck in a rut and it's like, how, how do we go about getting out of this kind of energy here? Focus area is the Nine of Cups and it is reversed. I feel like there's something that's happened with love. A love has not worked out as you had hoped because the Two of Cups is also reversed in your past energies. And I feel um, it may be all tied up together here that things aren't working in your favor. It comes around a love that has not worked out but it is talking also about starting to move forward because this is upright. Incoming energies, the chariot. At the moment, feeling like it's come to a grinding halt, not able to get things moving forward. The other card that's upright though, what you need to know is the tower. Couldn't come at a better time and it couldn't come better than being upright when it's saying to release a lot of energy that's holding you back here in order to start building a solid foundation and that comes from the ground up not halfway up here but it does start again at the beginning but making that solid best time that could come out how others see you princess of wands it is reversed i feel like others aren't being very empathetic towards the situation that you're in here um, we will clarify everything as i said shortly Hopes and fears is the Seven of Cups reversed. Opportunities that are being missed. Feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the options that are there, but you just actually, as I said, stuck in this rut. You don't even want to look at those at the moment. And your outcome, temperance. Things are not moving freely and steadily here. It's kind of a jilted journey that, um, that you are on. Like like this what what do they say two steps forward one step back but it may be two little steps but one big step back and it just seems to be going boom 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 it's a bumpy ride but we will clarify everything here gemini oh the rain's easing off i think i hope might be wishful thinking <laughs> Okay, so the Six of Swords, upright overall. There are plans in place to get things moving forward, as I said, but it's something you're not wanting everyone to know about. 
until things are pretty solid. Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, Five of Swords. It's a constant battle and I feel it may be internal battle here that you are fighting to get things moving forward. Possibly with somebody significant, soulmate, twin flame. Maybe that there is somebody new here and um, could be dealing with a Gemini, but it's been a long time coming that it's kind of, um, you're not, as I said, you're not wanting everyone to know about it at this stage because of this whole history here. Present energies, the magus reversed. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. I do feel like things are becoming more balanced here, more equal give and take. Possibly this new relationship. There's been a lot of hard work done here, and I feel it's on yourself, but it releases this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own. There's somebody significant here now, with that lovers there, and um, it's brought to the end to this burden. Crossed with justice here, the devil, the sun, seven of cups. I feel like you're moving forward into a lot more warmer, healthier energy. Warm, fuzzy feelings, I say, when you get the lovers somewhere here and you've got the sun as well. But I do feel that this negative energy is still trying to prevent you from moving forward. Trying to... Um, not force you but trying to get you to pick that repeat pattern that first cup that looks good and it's actually this sun is actually giving you this new burst of energy to take the time and explore all of your options that are in front of you love that could be dealing with capricorn there strength area you have the moon reversed with ace of cups eight of wands nine of wands yeah i feel this is a new love chapter here that needs everybody on the same page the hurdles and obstacles you've overcome are behind you and you have come out a bit battle scarred a bit battle weary very weary of what lies ahead here um, but at the same time if a decision needs to be made it can be made clearly getting the full story but there is this whole new chapter beginning Nine of Cups, reverse for your focus area, Gemini. You have the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, Three of Wands. I feel like you actually start to see something or someone not in such a positive way. Um, given you've got this deceptive energy as well that you are walking away from. But it's left you with your guard up here. And um, this has been around love, I think, this love in the past. And you've had this wake up moment but you're not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much but it's taken a bit to get that clarity right there given it's in your focus area two of cups reversed in the past you have the wheel of fortune four of wands judgment it's keeping an open mind towards this wheel of fortune pushing you forward to bigger and better things stability and commitment everything that you are wanting there but it just was not suited to that relationship in the past somebody was not ready to commit and it brought a lot of instability to the situation maybe there was some judgmental energy happening back there in the past but things can start to move forward We've got the chariot reversed incoming energies with the five of cups nine of cups ace of wands Maybe waiting for an apology, that may take forever to arrive, if it even arrives at all. Always say there is love there for the taking, take it with both hands and run with it, and start this new chapter, start this new journey with this chariot getting back upright. There is sadness, of course, that's come from all of this that you have been through. Always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on, but do that in your own space, in your own time, which I feel you do and um, looking after number one first and here's this tower out of everything that landed upright it was this that was needed what you need to know is clarified knight of wands nine of swords queen of wands and having this focus confidence to stay on board and see this journey through confident to chase your dreams and your goals could be what you want who you want and um, 
it does bring a certain amount of stress over thinking of things because it still comes back to this past that's never to be forgotten it may be a lesson learned but that memory is still there and it may still be there quite freshly how others see you princess of wands reversed you have the moon the world and the king of swords love that clear level-headed thinking using your head over your heart divine timing and just to make sure that moon is there giving you that clarity when things don't seem so bright and clear if it's meant to be it will be but divine timing is right there and the time is to now to take action and some clear-cut action with that king of swords hopes and fears gemini seven of cups reversed you get justice eight of swords and the empress sweet justice good karma good result could be dealing with the libra but i feel there's detours that need to be looked at you've got that seven of cups reversed that we are clarifying and that's talking about making sure you do see all the options that are there you may have to dig deep to see some of those options they're not always readily available but use your gut instinct follow your heart follow your intuitive energy right there you can claim that sweet justice and your final outcome gemini temperance reversed want this up right you have two of swords two of cups three of cups wow a clear decision that can be made now around this love and again i feel it may be a new love rather than this love in the past that um, did not come to light something to celebrate with this whole new love and this whole new decision and this whole new journey bring it on i say so the universe says the universe says <laughs> <laughs> the universe says a lot <laughs> so, <Gemini. laughs> so you get the star the empress and the ace of pentacles focusing on your dreams your wishes your goals very aware of how you're feeling very aware of what's going on around you and that this new journey needs to begin and it does begin at step one here Okay, so that's what I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.